Hi everyone, my name is Rosalind Streeter. Welcome to the Journey of Vision where you will soon learn it's just so much easier with God. All right, you guys, come on, let's chat. Okay, you guys, God said this is it, the wrecking ball. I am jumping right into part eight, and if you haven't watched part one through seven, please do so, so you can gain understanding. Now, part eight, y'all, is very special. I just wanna let you know, this is related to God's sons, okay? His sons, the men of God. Ugh. God took it upon himself to speak to the men of God. So if you're watching men, get prepared to hear God's heart towards you. And women, if you are watching this and you have men in your life, whether that is sons or husbands or cousins or brothers or whatever, make sure you share this with them because they really need to understand. Like I feel like the men, um, y'all are strong. Y'all are beautiful in our lives, y'all. And just to be everything that you carry, everything that you have to endure, right? I just, I love that God took it upon himself to share himself with you. And so women, if you're watching this and you know a man that needs to hear God's heart and needs to know that God loves him, share this, okay? All right, so I'm gonna be quiet and go ahead and allow God to speak. Here we go. So this is coming off of part seven. When God said, my son, at the end of part seven, okay? If you don't know what I'm speaking of, please watch it. So when God said, my son, I saw and felt this heavy weight, y'all, all over me for the men. The men, God's sons. All that you carry in your day-to-day, -day, it like fell on me. And I was just weighted down, okay? Then I heard, oh, as that weight, was on me i heard our loving father say son he just emphasized son i'm here my god and if you're a man watching this just remove Rosalind and hear god's voice and and hear him saying son that i'm here he sees you god said cast your cares upon me son I care for you too. And when he said, I care for you too, I saw women laying in the chest of our father and they were weeping and crying and just, just giving him all their cares, everything they're going through. My God. So when God says, I care for you too, he's saying, I want you to lay in my chest too and know that you can do that. And know that you can give me the care as it's going on with you. That you don't have to do it alone, my God. As you know, God allowed the weight to fall on me, what the man was carrying. So I can just sense it and feel it, right? So then I started to see myself laying in God's chest and his heart and pressing on him with their matters, with your matters, men. What I felt, I was just laying in God's chest and just interceding on your behalf to give it over to him, to soften your heart, to help you understand that you can call on him anytime you need to. He's not just here for his daughters. Just like he said, I'm too here for you, son. And this is God's beautiful heart as I laid in his chest with your cares, y'all. God said, I am a good father, not an earthly father. You can trust me. When I say I'm here for you children, sons, I mean you too. But you don't come to me like you should. You stopped. What changed? I didn't change. But you did. Why do you think you have to do this alone? But it was never meant for you to do it alone. And when he said, why do you think you have to do this alone? I heard God say many works. The many works that you do. The heaviness that you carry. God said, but it was never meant for you to do it alone. Listen to this. Sons, God said, we are partners on this journey. Yes, Lord. 
I will never let you walk alone unless you just want to. You are choosing a difficult journey when it doesn't have to be. Oh, I pray y'all feel God's heart in this. Pardon my guilt for it is great. You are forgiven. Then he said, now let's do this again, son. Give me what you have. And I heard cares, worries. So men of God, all the cares that you have, all the worries that you have, at this very moment, God said, give it over to me. Don't worry about the past. God says, I've already forgiven you for that. Don't worry about that. He said, let's start over. Let's do it again. <laughs> Y'all, oh my goodness. Lord, you're so good. And I'm trying not to cry, okay? Give me what you have, your cares, your worries. And wait on me to instruct. He said, let's do this together. Will you let me, your father, help, son? Will you? And then he said, I love you. I'm done. Wow. So men of God, that was just for you. And with that being said, I love how God said, let's just start over. He said, you're making the journey harder than what it should be. You're carrying, my God, he said, you're carrying a weight that is oh, actually supposed to be my weight. He said, I'll lighten your load. Cast your cares upon me, for I care for you too, God said. Then he just said, don't doubt my love for you. It is important for this season, <clears throat> for the reason of your being, of your purpose. He said, you will mount up, my son. You will be strengthened, my son. He said, you will rise again, my son. He said, what happened? Do you not trust me? You say you do. So trust me, lean not to your own understanding about this. Don't you choose to do it alone by yourself. What good father wouldn't walk with their loving son? What good father wouldn't train their son upright? That's me, your good father. That is all I'm trying to do in your life. Don't overstep in your calling, in your purpose without me. It's dangerous to do so. It's dangerous to go into a territory that is unknown without me, your father. I see all things and I know it all. Why not trust me? Lean not to your own understanding about this, son. <laughs> There's nothing too big, nothing too hard for me, your father. So will you give it all over to me? It is your choice. There is nothing in the way anymore. I've already forgiven you. Yes, for that too. My God. He just showed you guys. Showed you guys certain things that are hindering you. Just a glimpse. A thought. And God said, yes, that too. I forgave you for that. Even right now, you're thinking about it. Yes. God said, I forgave you for that. He said, clean slate. Yes, Lord. Thank you. My son. Now, will you stand on the battlefield for me and rise up, strengthened and strong? Take your rightful place in me, the kingdom of God, king that you are. 
Don't allow anyone to dictate who you are in me. No matter what they say, it only matters what I say. And you are a king and you are strengthened and you are strong and you will rise. My God, hear God's will for your life and you will rise, my son. Don't dictate your calling in me. Don't hinder yourself in me. I can do all things to Christ that strengthens me. Am I not in you? So be strengthened, my son. I love you too. I love you, my daughters, too. Don't you all forget this. This is not the season mm, to walk away from my glory, from my covering. Do you not see it? It's dangerous. I'm here to protect you. I'm here to cover you. I'm here to be glorified. <laughs> all at the very same time. I know you don't understand it, the plans I have for you, but you will. Stay focused on me, my son, my children, and I will lead you and direct your path. I love you. I'm done, Rosalind. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As God spoke, I could feel the weight starting to lift. <laughs> I could see men fighting back tears because you don't cry. When God says, lay in me and cry, give it all to me. You're at the bottom for no reason. He said, I will pull. Yes, Lord, thank you. I see God pulling you up, y'all. I see God pulling you up. As you stretch out your hand, he stretched out his. And he's pulling you up. Do not do this alone. And do not take it for granted what God just released in your life. Say, Lord, I don't know how to lean on you if that is your issue. I don't know how, Lord, but I do understand you direct my paths. And I need a new life. As I look around, this is not my life. This is not what you showed me for me. Help me to obey you in the way that you desire and not me. Help me to remove the selfish acts from my life. I will obey you, Father. You're my Lord Jesus. And together we will walk and thrive until that coming day. My God, y'all. <sighs> I just pray that you see God, you hear his heart, and you understand this season is for you. And you will be great. Stick with him. That is the only way. All right, you guys, so this sums up, my goodness. God said, this is it, the wrecking ball. And just know he has us, y'all. He has us. And so, as I get prepared for the next series, you already know that I am so in love with love. God is truly love, and we love you. Bye.